The seed, falling on rocky ground, refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Okay, guys, so we are continuing and this is part two. And now we are doing the second part of, you know, the, the other type of wolfism i call it wolfism <laughs> i don't know if you've got a better word then uh, holla at me i don't know any other you know but uh previously we were speaking about the first type uh which is the part way and i've said that if you've seen anyone who has never been saved who's head of the word i mean who's head of the bible read it or not necessarily read it as in like delving deep into it, but who who's heard of Jesus, but doesn't. And guys, the pathway won't even consider giving him a chance. You understand? They just don't have time. And you see it and you're like, you came from Adam. Who came from Jesus? Who came from God? Yes, you don't want Jesus. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. That's the world for you, you know. Filled with useless bunch of people, you know. Nevertheless, here we are now speaking about the second type you know because we've already spoken so much about the first type you know the type that will never give him a chance and if you've seen anyone like that it could be a family member it could be uh, anyone uh in your neighborhood it could be your friends whoever guys your colleagues your schoolmates or you know and they've never and they won't even consider that is what that is a pathway now here we're speaking about the rocky place these ones according to jesus he says that they hear the word and they become joyful they receive it with joy you understand in other words guys you'll find them going to church because in their minds we're like there is a place called heaven so we are going to heaven after leaving this place wow you know what i mean and then they get excited so they go there in, in fact guys churches are filled with the rocky places filled with the rocky places the problem is the seed the problem guys is in the seed you understand um the seed it, it cannot penetrate i mean the word which is the seed the word guys is also called the seed jesus calls it the seed as you can see it's the word but here we, we are also speaking about the different kind kinds of spiritual seeds as we as guys we know they are wolves and uh sheep you understand but this second type of wolfism which is the rocky place the word of god cannot penetrate the word of god cannot enter why it's rocky guys it's rocky oh you know guys i, I don't know much about planting and all uh, because you know uh, i've lived in the city you know <laughs> <laughs> to my demise anyway you know so i live in a flat and uh i decided to plant you know to have some uh, uh vegetable you know uh at a balcony believe me guys when i tell you all of those plants uh, ah guys nothing came out of it you know and well when i tried to find out what was the problem the source of the problem the sun you know sun doesn't get in through the balcony you know so it's like a useless activity for me so i said and i'm like damn there are rules even also when it comes to planting i thought you just take a seed and you put it there in the ground and you'll be okay oh no believe me when there is no sign you're going to have a huge problem you know so I don't understand much about planting and all but jesus did you know even though the guy was not into planting i mean guys the guy i mean guys jesus just knows everything you know so he is giving us this parable and when i was planting you know i came to understand certain things about planting as well so to me it's like oh okay this now does make sense you know but here just is saying that they do get saved they become joyful and they were like we want to enter heaven as well so let's go to church let's hear you know about uh the kingdom of heaven let's guys they go to church they they can't even hear the kingdom about the kingdom of heaven but they're hearing about riches earthly blessings and monies and prosperity i mean hello <laughs> you know how can you expect these people you know to enter the kingdom of heaven they can't you know but also the other problem is with the seed the problem is with the rocky seed you know the word cannot penetrate because it's rocky it's rocky guys 
the only way for the word to penetrate you know there must be this uh soil you know good soil you understand uh part way you know guys the part way people are marching on that ground you understand they are walking on that ground so obviously it becomes uh hard so when when you uh throw seeds on the ground you know obviously it can't penetrate because people have been walking and now it's hard you understand that's why it's called uh, a pathway you know and then this one is rocky meaning that the seed cannot penetrate as well because it's a rock guys you, you, you i mean i mean guys hello you know what i mean now so just saying that they become excited because of hearing about the kingdom of heaven but get worse it can't enter it can't penetrate because of the seed you know guys there are things you see it in life and you're like oh 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 you know i've got questions for my lord when i live here my lord has to answer you know guys in my country there is this advertisement it's about lotto and um it's like uh people they they say that one day is one day because they are all hoping that one day they will uh, get this lotto so the slogan is one day is one day you know and i sit and i'm like while i'm not into money and riches and all one day is one day and that day i'm going to ask my lord why did you allow the wolves to be even created in the first place i know that i know guys that he did not create satan spiritually dead but satan was a wolf that was spiritually alive when the word came he disobeyed it because he was a wolf so it's the same thing with Adam. He wasn't created spiritually dead. You understand? Because obviously he came from Jesus. But because he was a wolf type. So he was a living, a spiritually alive wolf. You understand? Probably Adam was um, a rocky type. <laughs> no, no, no. Not a rocky. Next, we're going to be speaking about thorns. And I think Adam was a thorn. That's what I think. You know, a, a, a thorn kind of a wolf. You understand so it's a question i'm going to ask my lord why did you allow uh wolves to be i mean to exist you know he will answer me guys one day is one day and that day is going to answer me you know he might be ignoring right now guys i've never met a person who can ignore you like jesus oh my king oh my lord he can ignore you ask him things you pray he ignores you like he doesn't exist that's why people say he doesn't exist he's ignoring your purpose you know <laughs> but that day one day is one day guys nevertheless guys continuing here so these uh jesus say that at once they receive it with joy in other words they do go to church they do get saved they want to be interested but problems you know guys have you ever met people who after getting saved they start maybe getting problems maybe you find that a family member is sick and then now you have to raise more money to get you know money for this person to be healed and stuff in other words satan he doesn't want to lose you so he's realizing that you are concentrating on the kingdom and if you do you, he's going to lose you so he brings problems your way and when problems comes you start concentrating on what on problems instead of the kingdom of heaven and then they quickly fall away ah guys ah guys this thing guys this thing should be making clear i'm mean, guys this thing should be clear to you you know he says but since they have no roots they last only a short time when trouble or persecution comes because of the word they quickly fall away you understand and also one thing i want us to also realize jesus says when trouble or persecution now when you think of persecutions, you, you actually think of Paul, of Peter, of James and John. These dudes were preaching about Jesus and they were persecuted and they were jailed. People do not want to hear their message because to them it didn't make sense. What are you telling us about a guy who died and then you telling us that he was raised from life yet we never saw him. I mean, guys, Jesus, he well, guys, Jesus rose to life and then he only appeared to those he wanted to appear to. The rest did not see him. So these guys, they go and tell the Israelites that Jesus rose to life. Yet Jesus did not appear to the others, only to the disciples and just a few. You understand? So it's things like that. So people were like, we are persecuting you. They did not want to hear. Guys, they did not even give them a chance. You understand? It's the same thing today, guys. Same thing. You, you 
uh, actually obey Jesus and people become offended because to them it's like, okay, if you want to go to church, that's fine. But the problem starts when you start obeying Jesus because when you're obeying Jesus, you're no longer going to obey them and they become offended. That's when they start persecuting you. And nowadays you won't get physical persecutions per se. While you might, you, you you won't get it per se, but it's going to be emotional persecution. I mean, guys, you are born with um, family members who don't believe in Jesus and they want you to be like them. They want you to run after riches. They want you to run after money. They want you to run after career. They want you to live the life of this world. And now you are obeying Jesus. You're becoming a loser and they love you. They don't want you to be a loser. I mean, guys, my family members, they love me. They don't want me to be a loser yet i'm a loser and i'm a loser by choice i decided to be a loser you know so they don't know to them it's like what is wrong with you are you crazy you know you are a graduate you can be like us but are you crazy you're living like this they don't know what i know you understand and i'm becoming a loser you know so they love me but to me it appears as persecution emotional persecution yet it's people who love me i mean guys you remember even though peter is not a rocky place peter is actually um a, a good soil meaning a sheep but when jesus said i'm going to the cross i'm gonna be killed and stuff peter said that ain't gonna happen to you why did peter say that it's because peter loved jesus and he didn't want things like that to happen to jesus so it's the same thing your family members will be persecuting you unknowingly you understand it's like they are persecuting you because they love you no don't do this don't do this do this you know become this success story become this blessed story and you're like if i do that i'm going to forfeit my soul and they don't know what you know so to them it's like you took this theory and you took it to heart and you are following it to the t they don't know that you've got proof of the theory you understand so it's things like that guys so you get to be persecuted by family members emotionally they don't know they mean well they love you guys you will never be persecuted by people who are far from you guys i mean hello i can't be persecuted by someone i see on tv hello that ain't gonna happen but people who are closer to me people who love me those are the people i run away from those are the people i distance myself from because these are the people who will influence me in a way that i don't want i will get peer pressure i will get pressure from these people and there is peer pressure and there's also this kind of pressure a pressure of persecutions for the people who belong to the kingdom of heaven where you will have to abide by the laws and commands of jesus and you can't do it because you've got family members you've got elders who expect you to obey them and live by tradition traditions yet these traditions are against the laws of the kingdom of heaven you understand and you get persecuted ah guys if it means run away run away so be it so be it guys ain't nothing you can do about it so jesus says that uh these people you know they when trouble and persecution comes because of the way they quickly fall away so i realized that uh trouble and persecution comes because of the way you understand so when this thing comes and you realize that you are a sheep because the only way to know whether you are a sheep or you are a wolf is after you've heard of jesus you've heard of the bible and what you do about it then that will tell you oh well i'm a sheep or i'm a wolf and if you're a wolf you will have to know what kind of a wolf you are are you a tony wolf meaning you are into riches and the worries of this life or are you a a rocky wolf meaning that you are i mean you are scared of problems and you're concentrating on, on problems or persecutions or are you a pathway meaning you've heard of it and you don't even consider you understand so it's things like that that you have to sit down and understand that is why i am uh bringing out this episode so that you will know don't go outside and ask people don't judge people look at yourself in the mirror and all and, and then decide because the word is the mirror james said that the word is the mirror so that word will tell you who you are you understand so guys you now know what is a um, a a rocky place you understand that it's someone who concentrates on, on problems and when problems comes they're no longer interested even though they do go to church guys people in churches have backslidden right there in churches they sleep with each other having successful marriage they love money they love the things of the world they're busy running after careers and prosperity all of that is for the people of the world we who belong to the kingdom of heaven we need to concentrate on the will of god ah guys it's simple as that simple 
until next guys